When patients enter the laboratory, they're assigned a accession number, um, which is unique to them, so it's a unique identifier number, um, which carries on with that patient all through their cycle. Um, in addition to that, each patient is assigned a different color, so all of their paperwork, as well as their label of their name, um, as well as the incubator um, in which they'll be cultured in, all have that uh, same color. So this is also identical to the partner's sperm preparation, so on the test tube of the final preparation as well as the multiple tubes that are required for the processing of the semen um, all have the same color, all have the same name, and all have the same unique identifying number. Um, we therefore have other embryologists, whenever we're doing a certain procedure, identify and confirm that the not only that the color matches, but also the uh, name as well as this unique identification number. So really uh, eliminates any sort of uh, possibility of confusion amongst other samples. And uh, this is a system that we've been using for quite some time um, and we feel is uh, more so adequate for proper identification and keeping track of what patients um, go where and uh, what partners sperm go with uh, patient eggs.